already ran the city. Selling dope, I'm hot as fuck. Hot. Bro, I can't do no chilling. Went from robbing boys to men. Ooh. I feel like Michael Bibb. Yeah, 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 what it do? You already know what it is. This your boy, your dog, Red Dummy, aka Red Rum. AKA, if you woke up broke, your ass shouldn't have never went to sleep. Yeah? And today, we are gonna be talking about Richmond's most feared steppers. You already know, man, you got to be a real crazy one or a real feared dude to be a real Richmond stepper that's feared by most and all. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? Richmond is a very dangerous city and we got a lot of people that's known for that action known for you know what i'm saying putting in that work and they don't get no recognition for real dog because it's just like a dog eat dog world out here bruh you know what i'm saying so what you got a body you feel me my dog got two three of them bitches you feel me hey man where i'm from i used to be convinced everybody had a body at one time but that's just how it is when you grow up in the murder capital you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying it's like you just get numb to that shit so much to the point where like you know what i'm saying you'll be looking at the streets crazy when you don't see a dead body found on the news or somebody that got hit up on the news or whatever in your neighborhood or the neighborhood by you or whatever dog because you know what i'm saying that's how we was raised in the 804, bro. You know the 804 got that dark cloud over it, bro. Been like that since way back in the day. And we gonna let y'all know about that right now. Start this one off getting into number three. At number three, man, we got my OG, my big aunt. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing no type of favoritism because everybody know, bro. Bro, you say this man name is it's like the man, the myth, the boogie monster, dog. You know what I'm saying? Lamont Kane, bro. Lamont Kane was the scariest yeah, that walked them streets at one time, boy. Hey, this man really walked up to people and lift them upside down and dumped all their money out their pockets, bro. And, and, Man, it was people that played football that was big, bro. That won't big to him, bro. Cause that's how big he was and strong he was, bro. This man, hey, I'm talking about man. This man was a a a, a, a superhuman, bro. He was a a, a a super character, like something you see in a comic book or something, bro. When I first seen this nigga, and they told me he was smaller than he was back in the day so you already know he ain't got a little age on him he started doing the security for me bro this man used to pick me up and pick me on the stage walk me through the crowd i'm talking about pick me up bro like not no by the way i'm talking about bro just like pick me up here bro yeah hey bro like you ain't trying to get wrong with that bro and this man is a virginia legend i ain't just talking 804 if you done did time bro you know Lamont Kane stories is all out there, man. And shit, bruh. If, if if I feel sorry for you if you was on the till with him and he ain't mess with you, dog. Cause you know, the biggest and the toughest, the ones who can fight won't trying to fight him. You already know, bruh. This man like the green bean giant, bruh. This man had the the CO scared the death of him, bruh. I remember people telling me he used to come out on the tier and say, cut the TV off and say, he ain't watching TV today. This one came TV. Man, and you know the jail was the most treacherous thing ever back in the day. Like, I'm talking about top of the United States when it comes to assaults and, you know what I'm saying, putting in that work and you being in harsh conditions, bro. Like, this Richmond City Jail really raised a lot of savages, dog. And I ain't about to sit up here and, you yeah, ain't. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got to be one of them ones if you done made people that, that, that put in that work not get to watch the game this weekend. You feel me? Just because Mike said, ain't no TV this weekend. You ain't. But you already know what all that being said, man. He a good family man and he a good dude, bruh. And if you ever was on his good side, you already know Mont was a nice, kind dude, bruh. 
he was, man, you know what I'm saying? When he had to be a goon, he was super goon, though, dog. You already know what time it is, dog. Shout out to Lamont Kane, bruh. Putting in that work, taking care of the fam, bruh. Love you, big onk. Love you, OG. You already know how we do. Hey, man, one day I was with Rick Ross, dog. Rick Ross said, hey, I need his number. I need his number. I need him to, you know what I'm saying? I need him to be my security. Real talk, bruh, bruh. Bro, one of those, one of those. So you already know what it is. Shout out to Rick Ross. Shout out to Lamont Kane. We're going to keep this thing moving. Yeah. You already know what it is, dog. Hey, when I say these boys right here, hey, the next person, bro, that shit just scare you when you just hear the name, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is like historically dangerous, what I could say. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I can think of when it come to mind. You know what I'm saying? And that would be the Briley brothers, bro. And I'm from the North North, and they was from the North North, 4th Avenue, man. My grandma used to live right there by the house that's right there now, you know what I'm saying? That's a historic monument, the house that they lived in on 4th Avenue. You can ride past there right now and just be looking at where the Bradley brothers lived at and where they went crazy, you know what I'm saying? They say the craziest one was Linwood, dawg. It was three brothers, Linwood, Anthony and uh James. They say James and James and Linwood was crazy, bruh. And man, these dudes, they did a lot of crazy stuff that I just thought was like rumors or whatever, but come to find out they was really actually true, man. Like my dad really was, you know what I'm saying, cool with Linwood. That was his homeboy back in the day. He was telling me stories about how he used to just, yeah, if he ain't like you, if you say something crazy, yeah, and this wasn't no regular street type stuff, this was some just like, dog, I'm crazy, Linwood, uh, caught his first body, he just had a rifle, he just, uh, was aiming out the window at the neighbor while she was cleaning, cleaning her yard, cutting the yard or whatever, and you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to her. He was 16 years old. And they let him back out, bruh. After that, I guess he did juvenile life or whatever. And he came back to the mean streets of the Richmond. And, hey, man, he went even more crazier, bruh. He already knew his fate. He knew what made him, you know what I'm saying, happy. And that was catching bodies, bruh. This man did a DJ in. They, they did some crazy stuff to a, a, a older lady, man. That's just crazy, bro. That them, you know what I'm saying? That your man could be that sick to just do that right there, bro. They waited on the DJ to come up out there and, and did him in. They did a bunch of people. And then not even to mention, bro, I'm from Botton on the same street where I used to live at, bro. Right up the street by Post Street and stuff. They say he... You know what I'm saying? A lady and cut the baby out of her, bruh. That was crazy, bruh. Like, I used to always think there was a rumor until I watched the documentary on them. These people really did that, bruh. And not to even mention, his parents was scared to death of him. The parents was scared to death of him. They used to put up a padlock from the inside of the door to lock their room. Cause they were scared to death of their kids, bruh. They own kids. Just imagine you having to put a padlock on your door. Not cause your kids some crackheads and they just be stealing everything. But cause your kids, you don't know if they gonna do you in next, bruh. But you are the parent, so you try to take on that parental responsibility. And you know what I'm saying? But not only that, bruh, they was crazy as hell in jail too, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Bruh went and did the, the number one. He, he he broke another record out here. He's the first person. Linwood was the first person to ever escape from maximum security. How you escape from maximum security, bruh? I mean, like, that's just crazy, bruh. Like... They made up new jails and everything just because of him, bruh. This man 
escape custody of maximum security, bro. The people who they just goddamn got a camera on at all time, bro. He escaped that shit some way. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna go into all the details, but you can see. I put up a little, you know what I'm saying? A little details of hi hi. Look look at look at what they did, bro. They used look look at how they say what they used on their victims, like. This boy's got got convicted of doing something, offering somebody with a bet, offering somebody with scissors, offering somebody with a fork, bruh, with a rifle, a pistol. The list goes on, bruh. Like, I don't know, bruh. That might be like the craziest thing ever, bruh. How you use over 10 things, over 10 bodies, bruh? They just was like, yo, whatever around me, I'm going to use it. To hurt somebody really bad to the point where they ain't moving no more, bro. And I heard that they, you know what I'm saying, have, you know what I'm saying, sexual encounters with carcasses. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but you know what I'm saying? This ain't nothing to glorify, none of that. I'm just letting y'all know that these boys was really fucking crazy, dog. They were really fucking crazy. And... You know what I'm saying? They got executed. I don't know what year, but they died in the electric chair, bro. Two of them and one of them still alive. I think the youngest one, he got life plus like 116 years. And I don't even know if he did nothing. They just gave him that. They say people say they gave him that because he was just a Bradley brother. Like, and the, and, the, and it was another accomplice that was like just their friend. And he the one who I think just came home not too long ago. If he is home, he told everything. And that way, that's that's how they knew all this information. So rest in peace to all of the people, you know what I'm saying, that got put through that, the families that was affected by that. You know what I'm saying? But that's Richmond history. The Briley brothers, bruh. The Briley's. All right, we're going to keep this thing moving, man. Last but not least, man. Nowhere near but least because this person right here is still active. And you know what I'm saying? This is like a person, you say they name, you would think it will be some old big buff ass crazy looking dude. But this one right here will mess up anybody head that is not from Richmond because you'll be like, Oh, so y'all scared of that? Oh, y'all some sucker. Y'all, you scared of that? That what you scared of? Man, I do her in, bruh. Man, we talking about the ultimate stepper of all time. She step on steppers, bruh. And she was five. Well, she not was, nigga. She four foot eleven, bruh. Out here handling, handling business. If your name on her list, bro, you might as well just turn yourself in, bro, unless you want to, you already know, R.I.P. Man, we gonna get this one right here to Sandy. Officer Sandy, man. She graduated from Officer uh, Officer Sandy, and now she a, uh, uh, I think she a Fed, she a, uh, she one of them, she a, uh, uh, task force. Just know, if she coming for you, dog, it's over, bro. Even if he ain't do it, bro, it's just like, damn, bro. And look, I, I got, you know, I got a story for everything, you know, because I've been in these streets forever, bro. I remember she was chasing my friend for some shit that he did. You know what I'm saying? He's still gone now. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to explain to you, he ran past my house, you know what I'm saying? And ran on the side of my house. And you know what happens, bro. She thought he ran up in my shit, bro. She thought he was using my house as a safe haven from seeing them. And you already know, Captain Boot, my goddamn grandma door down, bro. The door hit me in the head, bro, because I was standing right there at the door trying to figure out what was going on. I was hearing all that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Stop, stop, stop. All that shit, I was in the living room. She boot the door off. The door just had got booted because, you know, my grandma house used to get kicked in every other month, if not every month. So the, it, the door won't even stable. It was just up there by some strings and stuff. You know, we just picked the door up like, 
just to make sure that we, you know what I'm saying, have a little bit of privacy or whatever, but my grandma stopped fixing the door a long time ago, man. Rest in peace, my grandma, man, because the door used to come off the hinges like, boom, R-I-P, I mean, uh, R-P-D. Get on the ground. I remember being a child, bruh, you know what I'm saying? Witnessing this, I already knew what the program was. I already knew what the procedures was when you see Sandy, bruh. Get your ass on the ground and you stay there, bruh, for you end up in the ground, bruh. Hey, and I got another one where she had pulled up on one of the meanest, you know what I'm saying, hitters that I know. I ain't even going to say no names or nothing, but I know he called her a B word and all that shit. It was like, yo, take the, take the uh, cuffs off me and we can get it in. Like, ah, you up. Like, she like, what? Oh, I've been waiting for this. You know what I'm saying? Just remind you, this dude like six something. Big ass dude, probably like two something, 300. Known to smack a nigga head off, bruh. He smacking niggas heads back into tomorrow on everything. And you know what I'm saying? She uncuffed him. He was like, oh yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. And they had to wake him up and shit. He broke, she broke his ass down, dog, on some old goddamn movie shit. Like, some John Claude Van Damme shit, Bruce Lee type shit, bro. She, she broke this nigga down, bro. From she started at the bottom and finished at the top, and then want no more of that nigga, bro. They had to put that nigga in the goddamn ambulance when he was arrested, bro. That she, hey, bro. That shit proved to me like she ain't just talking that shit. She really on that shit. And not to mention my homeboy from D.C. that came down here. He was America's most wanted. I ain't going to be saying nobody names and stuff. But you know what I'm saying? She was the reason why he ain't here no more. R.I.P. my dog. You already know what it is, man. And like I said, bro, if you out here doing wrong, you better get your shit together. Anytime a nigga here, she in town, bro. Nigga, stop hustling for a little while, bruh. Or, or take your ass on the other side of town or whatever. But if she looking for you, it's over, my nigga. You better get the fuck out of the fucking state. You better get the fuck out of the United States of America, dog. Because she coming, bruh. And she coming with a force that ain't never been seen before to a street nigga, bruh. And all of the real street niggas know, bruh. You don't really get no two run-ins with her, bruh. You don't get no two run-ins. This ain't no motherfucking person you just run into all the time. Especially if you doing wrong and she after you. She don't go after the same niggas like two, three times. She ain't one of those, dog. She got them come after you. It's some shit. Your ass gonna sit in the jail or down the prison for the rest of your motherfucking life. Or you gonna chill in that goddamn graveyard, bruh. Cause she don't play no goddamn game. She squeeze first, ask questions last, bruh. The true stepper of motherfucking 804, bruh. You say her name, you can sit up there and throw all the jokes out there you want to. But bruh, you know you don't want them problems in your life. You know you don't want that, bruh. You know you don't want them problems in your motherfucking life. She gonna... She gonna put a damper on all that, bruh. I, I, I promise you, bruh. So all my youngest, if you don't know Sandy, bruh, stay out the way so you don't have to know Sandy, bruh. Or at least I hope it's on another approach where you get to see her do somebody else, uh, take somebody else in or something like that. Cause if she coming for you, dog, you done did some crazy ass shit. She don't come for no little punk ass shit. She ain't coming for no goddamn little damn rocks or none of that shit. She coming for the big shit. And mostly bodies, my nigga. I done seen her come with the drug people too, dawg. She swing to being about the drugs. She done kicked my grandma door in a few times, bruh. She used to make fun of me and say little shit. You know what I'm saying? When I was coming up in the music game, they used to ride down the street playing my songs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Teasing motherfuckers and shit. She used to goddamn open the door and act like, you know what I'm saying? And, bruh. She love to be in a goddamn minivan, bruh. She loves a motherfucker, bruh. She goddamn jump up out that minivan, bruh. Like G Sambo say, hopping about the minivan. He was talking about motherfucking Sandy, dog. He was talking about Sandy, bruh. Sandy hop about the minivan, the rental minivan every time. She been doing this shit since motherfucking 
since the city of Richmond was born with the streets, dog. So, you know what I'm saying? I got more steppers to name and shit. But we gonna say that for another episode. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe, bruh. Y'all see the channel growing. Y'all see everything growing for a nigga, bruh. Thank God for everything. I'm thanking y'all for everything y'all do for me, man. Make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying? Keep the negativity out your life and stay positive and stay out the way, my dog. You know what I'm saying? The streets ain't for nobody. Because the streets don't love nobody. And I ain't seen a nigga win that shit yet, dog. So, you make up, make believe in your head and all that little fake ass shit these little rappers tell you. Nah, bruh. That shit ain't what it is, bruh. Love y'all. Stay out the way. Yeah.